So to identify the coterminal angles, the first thing we want to do is identify what the angle looks like. Um, so let's just kind of go with our understanding of pi. We know that, guys, pi is basically halfway around a circle, right? That represents pi. Now, pi halves might be a little confusing for you at first. So we can just represent that as 1 half of pi. So you say, oh, well, from here to here is pi. Then just half of that is pi halves. So that is pi halves, right? Half of the measurement. So if I was going to graph this in standard form, we would just go from here to here. Now, if I want to draw an angle that has the same initial and terminal side, which we call coterminal angles, basically what that means is, if I go from here to here, if I draw an angle, if I draw the same angle, but then continue an extra revolution, do I still have the same initial and terminal side? Do both angles start at the same and end at the same? Those are called coterminal angles. So now let's look at the difference between their measure, because they're not the same angles. This angle is technically like 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. And then plus, I did a revolution, which in degree terms is 360. And so we don't really want to talk about degrees, though, because everything we're talking about right now is radians. So they, let's actually, I should take that back. They both have traveled pi halves. But then this one does an extra revolution, which in terms of pi, a revolution is 2 pi. So you guys can see from, red, from black to red, I added 2 pi. And then could I do that again? Could I add 2 pi again? Could I add it again and again and again? And there's, guess what? There's infinite many coterminal angles. So the way that we do that is we just want to add 2 pi. So if I want to find my coterminal angle, I have pi halves. I'm just going to add 2 pi. Now, this would be the wrong way to approach the problem, at least in my opinion, because who wants to add 1 half to 2 pi? Nobody. So what I look at this is, couldn't we say that this is the exact same thing? Pi half plus 4 pi over 2? That's the same thing as 2 pi, right? But now they have common denominators, so I know that is equal to 5 pi halves. Now, adding is cool. Adding's fine. But a lot of times, the question you will get is find a positive and a negative coterminal angle. So if here's my angle, this is the positive direction. What would happen if I went in the negative direction? Right? So basically, what I have is I have this measurement, 2 pi, right, around the circle. And it's basically subtracted from there. Like, you just have the remainder of that. So to wait to another way to get a coterminal angle is in addition, now that rather than adding 2 pi, you can also subtract 2 pi. And let's just go ahead and do that in the other way. So subtract 4 pi over 2, and you get negative 3 pi over 2. And does this green angle look like negative 3 pi over 2? Yeah, that would be it. So the general idea, guys, for finding coterminal angles is just to add and subtract 2 pi. That's not always the case. They're not always the easiest way to do things.